My name is Amia Carter. I am 17 years old. I am a student in the Ambition program. There's always a Me Too. So I come from a very, not violent, but not loving and caring family. I was raised to not be violent, but to not take disrespect and things like that from people. And it kind of transformed my attitude from being really positive, young in my life, to being a very negative person as I got older. And it was really bad in middle school. Um, got into a lot of fights with a lot of girls. I didn't get along with people. I hated school. I didn't want to be at school. I would go to school for like two hours and then hop the gate and leave. I had a couple run-ins with LAPD. And it was just a really, really stressful and bad time in my life. And I really resented my mom because she was always telling me, you know, you're not gonna end up doing anything with your life if you don't get your ish together. You need to be a better person. And I hated when people would tell me that I'm a bad person because I'm really not a bad person. I'm just having some issues like everybody else. And I didn't know how to deal with mine in a healthy way. So when I got here, I didn't have this class until my sophomore year. And I didn't really want to be in it. I was like, I don't know why I'm in this class. I definitely don't want to be in here. I don't need this class. That's, I used to say that all the time. Like, I don't need this class because at ECHS, you sign a contract, you take anything they tell you you're going to take. So I felt like I didn't really need this class. I don't want to be in here. I don't know these people. I don't, I don't want to be in here. And I met Nancy, and she was a really sweet person, but I really didn't want to be here listening to her like tell stories and have these mentor people talk to me and tell me, like, oh, you have so much potential. You just got to do this, and you just got to do that. And I was like, like, yeah, whatever, dude. Like, I don't, I'm not doing anything. You know, like, I don't even want to be in this class. So <laughs> as time went on, and I talked to Nancy more, and a couple things happened in my life that kind of changed my outlook on everything. Like, I lost a couple best friends. I got C's in a couple classes, which wasn't really normal for me. Despite my terrible behavior, I still got really good grades in school. And so sophomore year was really hard. My parents kind of went through a separation at the same time as I was losing one of my closest friends. I really didn't want to be at school. I questioned whether or not I wanted to go to college, what I wanted to do with my life. And it was just really hard. And so that was like first, that was like second semester because I only had you for one semester. And then towards the end of the semester, I really got into like the program. And I really kind of made the decision to where, I, I've made the decision that I'm not going to be negative anymore. I'm going to be positive. I was going through depression. I had an eating disorder. It was just a lot of, a lot of crap going on. So I was like, I'm just, I'm just going to not do this anymore. Like, I don't want to wake up upset. I don't want to wake up angry, feeling like I don't want to get out of my bed. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to talk to people. So I decided I'm going to be different. I'm going to at least fake it until it becomes a true feeling. So I would come to school and I would talk to Nancy and then it just, this became my favorite class. Like I didn't want to do anything. I don't want to go anywhere else. Like I wanted to be in here all the time. You guys know, because I didn't have this class last semester and I somehow got put <laughs> back in. I begged Miss B to put me back in this class because I really enjoy being around people who uplift me and who make me feel positive. And that was sophomore year. And then junior year, I didn't have the class, but I had it. I didn't have it, but I had it. Like I was in here every day, really trying to still be a part of the program and everything because I really felt good when I was here. Despite of, I felt really negative still outside of this room and I was still battling with it as a junior and it was really rough. And then junior year, um, summer, coming to senior year, I was really close with my dad and everyone, well, my friends know like how close I am with my dad. He's my favorite person in the whole world. And summer, from junior year to senior year, uh, he was shot and he was killed. And it made me really think a lot about Nancy and um, all the things that, sorry, all the things that she's told me because we have a similar story. She kind of went through the same thing. This terrible thing happened to her and she's still so positive and I really try to look up to her and try to think about how I can be like that. Still so positive because I've kind of slipped back into my sophomore year mentality. I don't want to come to school. I don't want to get out of my bed. I don't want to eat. I don't want to do anything. So things that I've kind of tried to do to keep myself going is I come to this class and I at least, even if I'm not feeling it and I'm not every day, trust me, I still try to do my best, my part to remain positive. I talk to Nancy and the other mentors and I keep myself busy with my friends. I got a job at Subway, my favorite place in the world. Like I, I do things 
to kind of keep myself at a state of happiness. Because when you're not at that state of happiness, nothing really is going to be good for you. If you're walking around every day negative, you're not only affecting yourself, you're affecting others. I know I have the power to affect an entire room. And if I'm in here being a bitch and not doing what I'm supposed to be doing and kind of bringing everybody else down, it'll really take a shift and a turn. And I've always been like that my whole life. I can carry this energy with me and it brings people in and it brings people down. And if I'm up, then I feel like it brings other people up. So I've kind of made the decision to where I'm not gonna be negative. Even if I feel like I wanna be, I'm not going to be for the sake of other people. And this is a part of my challenge of really trying to care more about other people. Because if I really didn't care, I, you know, because I don't, I wouldn't care. So I try to be positive in the hopes that it'll help everybody else remain positive. And this, this death thing is just the hardest thing like ever. Like, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. It's rough, and I still every day try to be as positive as I can because dwelling on it and like not talking about it and things like that, it doesn't make it any better. So this, I appreciate this program and um, the people here who, who allow me to be myself and allow me to speak how I want and say what I want and express myself. And I appreciate you guys for listening and for, um, even if you don't want to listen for at least pretending like you want to listen when I tell you things and like I really want everyone to do one even if your story isn't like sad or whatever like I want everyone to do one because this can impact somebody else like Nancy's stories impacted me because I never thought that it would happen to me and it did and as soon as it happened I instantly thought about her and how I could be just like her and positive like she is and I want <clears throat> you guys to do one so that you could potentially help someone the way that she helped me